hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you all have been a great day so today i'm going to show you how to make ghana king cake using um oatmeal flour and then um a piece of um cabbage you also need um a bit of salt and then um a little bit of um white vinegar so grab yourself a seat and then let's get started okay so we're gonna start off by um cutting the the cabbage cabbage has already been washed so you just cut them up into chunks and then gonna go ahead and put everything in your blender you put everything in the blender okay so once everything has um, been cut up you're going to add a little bit of water to enable um, the cabbage to blend properly so you blend until it's very smooth so once um, everything has been blended you pour it into um you can use a cheesecloth you can use a napkin just basically any cloth that will be able to help you squeeze out the water from it. So you just squeeze out the water. Okay, so once the water is squeezed out, this is how your cabbage is going to look like. This is the texture that you want it to be. So the next thing is to grab yourself a pot and then some water. Okay, so once you have the water, your next step is to pour in the, the oat flour. You pour the oat flour in here. And then you're going to add some water. Make sure you don't have to add too much. So you add a bit of water to it. And at this point, I'm going to add the cabbage. I'll add the cabbage to it. Mix it properly. And at this point, you're going to add in um, a bit of salt, not too much, just a bit. And also some vinegar. The vinegar is going to give it that sour taste that normally Kinky has. And also to take away the smell of the cabbage. Most people don't like the smell of the cabbage. So the vinegar helps get rid of the smell. And then also you get that sour taste that you normally get in your kinky so the next step i'm gonna transfer it onto the stove and then we'll continue from there okay so this stage we have it on the pot you're just gonna continue to stir like you normally do with your with your banku so we just keep stirring it just stir 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 and at any point, if you feel like maybe you need a little bit more of um, the oat flour, you can add a bit more to it. But I will probably add a bit more with the next step if I feel like it's a bit soft. So I'm just going to continue to stir. So as you can see, it's coming together beautifully. So just keep stirring it. There so. and then um, maybe in about five minutes or so I won't let it cook all the way through then I'm gonna take half of the 
the meal and keep it aside and cook the other um, the other part till it's completely cooked and then we will add it to the one that I will take out later so just keep stirring it okay so the way it is right now I'm gonna take half half of the thin out I'm gonna keep it aside and then um, I'll cook this one till it's completely cooked this stage I'm going to add a little bit more water for it to cook properly okay so I'm just adding just a bit of water not too much just a tiny bit and then you leave it to simmer for a bit and then you come back to it okay so it has simmered down for a couple of minutes just mix it together well so at this point it's cooked this is how you basically also make your oatmeal um, bancon just without the cabbage so I'm going to add this to the other one that I dished aside from before and then we'll mix it together okay so I'm now adding the other part that it's cooked to it just add it to it and then um, mix the two together very well just mix the two I think it's okay I won't add any more of the flour to it so the next step we're going to wrap it in this um, corn um, husk this corn husk I put it in I clean it and I put it in warm, warm water to get any bacteria any dirt off it so this is what we are going to use to wrap the kinky and then I have a pot on the stove um, boiling so once it's ready I'm gonna put a colander on the pot and then we will steam the kinky for about half an hour till it's ready so now at this stage I'm just going to put my hands in there and then I will divide it into two balls basically like two balls I want Divide it into two balls. And this is how you'll get it. So we'll start. We will start by wrapping um the kinky. You grab one leaf like this. Take another one, another piece. Put it all around it like this. And then you just go um you go all around it. Um, create a center here, like put a small hole. Take some of the leftover kinky to make sure it covers properly. And then this is how you want the kinky to look. Okay, so after you've um, wrapped your kinky in the corn husk, the next step, I'm going to cover um, the kinky with a, with a clear wrap. So that's what I'm going to do next. Cover the kinky. Just take one of them like this. And then um, just wrap it like this in the in the clear wrap. Just wrap it nicely, and then um, I'm going to place it in the colander. This is how I'm going to place them, and then I will put it on the the pot that is boiling with water cover it and then let it steam for about 30 minutes hello so we're back 
and then um at this stage as you can see the kinky has been steaming for about 30 35 minutes now and it's ready so i will just turn off the stove and then let it cool down a bit and then we'll be back with the final result of a cabbage oatmeal kinky okay so our kinky is ready i had i steamed it for about 30 to 35 minutes and as you can see the kinky is looking very beautiful look at that it looks like you used corn in making this amazing kinky and the taste and texture is out of this world do you see it so give it a try if you're trying to like um eat um very healthy like a low carb meal and you don't want to incorporate so much um carbs into your meal i'm sure you will love this it goes very well with grinded pepper and fish okra stew okra soup like any sauce of your choice give it a try and come back and give me a feedback i'm sure you will love it thank you for always stopping by to watch all my videos please subscribe if you haven't done so like my videos share my videos and comment and always come back for more delicious healthy and yummy looking food thank you and have a great day